Welcome everybody, you're watching Lax TV, changing the way you follow across. We're on the banks of the St. Johns River in Jacksonville, Florida. The Dolphins of Jacksonville are led by first year head coach Guy Van Arsdale. And today they get the dubious task of taking on the Holy Cross Crusaders. Coming off a huge victory early in the season against Hartford and out to build upon that success. Hello everyone, I'm Dan Matthews alongside Todd Walker. Welcome to DB Milne Field, the site of today's featured action on LAX TV. Today's game is presented in part by Bamshaft and Inside Lacrosse, the source for the sport. Todd, let's talk about the visiting Holy Cross Crusaders first, and they're led by their uh, junior attackman, James Kennedy. Yeah, James Kennedy, uh, uh, real, real good finisher, a good scorer for the uh, for the Crusaders, and and he's going to kind of uh, kind of drive their offense. Dan, he's the he's the uh, the ball handler, the the play starter, and uh, as James Kennedy goes, so go the Crusaders. And then they're fortunate enough to be getting their starting goalie back for today's game. Kenny O'Connor, a sophomore out of Latham, New York, Shaker High School, was dealing with mono, and, and now he's back and ready to play. Yeah, it seems to be the uh, prevailing theme of this weekend is uh, is uh, wounded goalies getting coming back uh, for their teams, and uh, this will be a, a good uh, a good first outing for uh, uh, for Kenny, and uh, and I'm sure he's glad to get back in uh, back in the pipes after uh, suffering through some uh, illness. Let's take a minute and look at the starting lineups for the Holy Cross Crusaders. Kenny O'Connor, I'm number four, I'm a goalie, I'm a sophomore, and I'm from Latham, New York. AJ Garante, number five, I'm a midfielder, senior from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Dan Schmader, number seven, I play defense, I'm a junior and I'm from Radnor, PA. John Hannon, number 13, attackman, junior, from Manhasset, New York. Greg Peterson, number 15, defenseman. I'm a senior from West Hartford, Connecticut. I'm Matt Boylan, number 17, midi, a senior, and from Kings Park, New York. Andrew Marisi, number 18, midfielder. I'm a senior from Manhasset, New York. David Henry, number 21, play defense. I'm a senior from Davidsville, Maryland. James Kennedy, number 23, play attack. I'm a junior from Summit, New Jersey. Rick DeSico, number 32. I'm an attackman. I'm a senior, and I'm from Manhasset, New York. We're back. That's the starting lineup for the Holy Cross Crusaders as you see them taking the field. Let's switch gears over to the Jacksonville University Dolphins, again led by first-year head coach Guy Van Arsdale. Ari Waffle was our player of the game on Friday, and, and what a tremendous game that Ari had. Yeah, for, really, a, really a heady freshman, and uh, uh, Coach Van Arsdale uh, has got to be really happy with his play early on this season, and uh, uh, to tally the game winner to, uh, over uh, Michigan in overtime on uh, Friday was a, a, a huge leap for uh, freshman Ari Waffle. And then on the defensive side of the ball, Peter DeLuca. Uh, we talked about him a little bit on Friday before the game. As DeLuca goes, so go the Dolphins. Yeah, he's an impressive goalkeeper. Uh, and and uh, I think one of the things that Coach Van Arsdale likes about him, uh, in addition to his, his uh, ability to, to make, the, make the big save, uh, he's also very good out of the cage. Uh, they, don't, they don't make too many bad passes, uh, create too many tur turnovers in their clearing game. And uh, Coach Van Arsdale is all about ball control. And Cameron Mann, uh, really the inspirational and, and field general for this uh, Dolphin squad. Yeah, again, uh, Coach Van Ogdell refers to Cameron Mann as having the highest lacrosse IQ of, of uh, all of his players, uh, which, which uh, speaks volumes because he's got a, a pretty good squad put together here. And uh, Cameron Mann, uh, very good at running the field and uh, taking control when, uh, when, when that needs to be done. No doubt about it, this is going to be a great lacrosse game between two very competitive teams at the NCAA Division I level. We're just about 40 seconds from the national anthem, and uh, Salida Gorman will join us a little bit later on. She's our resident expert on the sidelines, and uh, so far she's done yeoman's work for us, and we sure appreciate all she's done while we've been here this weekend. 
Let's take about 60 seconds and check out the starting lineups for the Jacksonville University Dolphins. Amari Waffle, number 39, freshman in attack from Fayetteville Manlius, New York. Connor Iga, number 31, I'm a sophomore midfielder from Worthington Kilbourne, Columbus, Ohio. Peter DeLuca, number 28, sophomore goalie from Penn Manor High School in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Donovan Lang, number 21, junior midfielder from Northeast High School in Pasadena, Maryland. TJ Canary, number 19, junior attackman from Milton High School in Alpharetta, Georgia. Charlie Archer, number 14, freshman defenseman, Wilmington, North Carolina, Woodbury Forest School. Tanner Gard, number 9, junior defenseman from Winter Springs High School in Orlando, Florida. Jake Ziegler, number 11, senior defenseman, Webster Thomas High School, Webster, New York. Max Gorowski, number eight, senior attack from Webster Thomas High School, Webster, New York. Cameron Mann, number four, junior midfielder from Salisbury School in Hamilton, Ontario. Public address announcer introducing the visiting Holy Cross Crusaders and the Holy Cross faithful gathering below us for this contest with Jacksonville. University. Again, I'm Dan Matthews with Todd Walker. You're watching LAX TV, changing the way you follow lacrosse. This is the conclusion of our inaugural weekend of NCAA action. We'll be back with you again in two weeks from St. Louis, Missouri, where we'll go back to the MCLA on the Division II level for a round robin of incredible games featuring the likes of Davenport, St. Thomas, uh, Missouri Baptist, etc. It should be a, an incredible weekend. Northern Colorado will be there. And uh, we'll have uh, a good handful of uh, six games for you from St. Louis, Missouri in just about two weeks right here on LAX TV. Looks like the teams are lighting up on the sidelines. I'm not sure if there's going to be a national anthem today or not. I'm guessing that we are going to do the national anthem. So while we do that, let's go ahead and take a commercial break and we'll be back with the opening face-off after this. Ducks. San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy. This is going to be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle of the cross. Bounce. Score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left handed shot by Vasilovsky. Hi, I'm Bill Harkins, and I'm the head men's lacrosse coach at Florida State University, and you're watching this game on LAX TV. A small but enthusiastic crowd joined here today on the campus of Jacksonville University for this NCAA Division I contest between the Holy Cross Crusaders and the Jacksonville University Dolphins. I'm Dan Matthews with Todd Walker. And Todd, 
Who's going to be officiating this game for us today? You bet. We've got uh, Bruce Crawford as our referee, Jeff Bruso, our umpire, and Paul Cicio, our field judge. AJ Guarante and William Vogt are at the X for the faceoff, and it's controlled by the Jacksonville Dolphins. Scooping up the ground ball was Tyler Black. And he helped start the offense in motion. We're underway in Jacksonville, Florida. Dan Matthews again with Todd Walker. Cameron Mann flips the ball up top, giving it off to Connor Igo. Igo left hand cradle on the near side. And the Dolphins set this potent offense. Dolphins had a huge uh, victory early in the season against Navy over at Everbank Field. Good look. Good look. Nice save by goalie Kenny O'Connor. Holy Cross heads the other way. The kid with the wheels is Kyle Cadlick. He takes it in, shoots off the cross, off the post. And it bounces out of bounds, chased down by Holy Cross. Real nice opening save there by Kenny O'Connor, Dan. Uh, Harry Waffle right on the doorstep, and uh, he made a nice step out and, uh, and uh, turned, that, turned that shot away. Cadillac probably looked like a blur going across our screen. Nice move by Kennedy. Kennedy shoots that one, hits the post. Dumb luck for Holy Cross early on. And the ball scooped up by John Hannon, and Holy Cross will settle it in a little bit and run their base offense. Far side, driving the alley, there's a save by DeLuca, rebound goes in between the pipes and into the back of the net. Holy Cross up early, one nothing on JU. Yeah, that was uh, number 18, Andrew, Andrew Marici. Marici with the goal. Andrew Marici from Manhasset, New York, Chaminade High School. Again at the X are Vote and Guarante. Crusaders win this faceoff. They're going to settle in the offense. It looks like Holy Cross would really like to run today. They're, they're, uh, they're thus far at least, Dan, uh, being very aggressive and going to the cage. Uh, we're not quite uh, just over three minutes in, and uh, they, we've already seen four shots. Crusaders led by head coach Jim Morrissey, Syracuse graduate, assistant coach Tommy Guadagnolo, also a Syracuse alum. Holy Cross working the ball around, that's Doherty behind the cage. Crusaders set it up top. Left nice hand look. spin, great look to the inside. That's a shot to goal on the inside by John Doherty. 6'2", 125, or 155 pound attack from Brook Point High School in Stafford, Virginia. Holy Cross off to a fast start. Guy Van Arsdale with his arms folded across his chest on the sidelines already. Real nice look inside in uh, Jacksonville. Uh, defender on the crease sort of got caught uh, napping a little bit, didn't get his uh, stick on the hands. Real nice finish. Good physical start to this game, especially at the face-off X. We've got a push on JU, it'll be Holy Cross ball. Wholesale substitutions. Only difference is this is a dead ball and it makes it a lot easier. I think we've actually, uh, we actually had a time-serving penalty call on that, Dan. We did. It's a one minute. I'm not sure if he called a cross check or a slash, but uh, either way, Jacksonville will be man down for 60. Sitting in the box, looks like Quentin Miller. And Holy Cross is set up in a 1-4-1. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's Tyler Black sitting in the box right now for Jacksonville. Holy Cross, quick with the sticks, working the ball around, circle the offense. Miles Gillespie here on the near side. Number 16 in purple. 
He's rotated down on the crease, far side. Well, Holy Cross works the ball around. Their man up for about another 30 seconds. Kennedy takes the ball inside. Nice DeLuca stuffs him. And it'll be Jacksonville ball. Yeah, Holy, Great save by DeLuca. Holy Cross attackman stepped in the crease. Possession over to Jacksonville. Great save by DeLuca inside. Folks, apparently Jacksonville, Florida, known for something other than fun in the sun, and that would be a whole lot of wind, at least <laughs> today. Gusts at about 45 to 50 miles an hour today, pretty consistently all day. Penalty's been released. Chasing the ball down on the far side is Jacksonville. It's Donovan Lang up top with the ball. Igo comes down the alley, gets pushed out. Canary works it around and back over to Gorofsky. That's Lang getting a pick. Comes around the pick. A lot of picking and rolling going on for the Dolphins, Canary has it up top. He kicks it over to Lang. That's Ari Waffle behind the cage to Gorowski. Pressure defense by Holy Cross, keeping the Dolphins from being able to get to the cage. Waffle breaks free, kicks it out top, shot, save off. I believe that was off the goaltender, but Donovan Lang gets the rebound and loses the ball on his takeaway for the shot. And here comes the kid with the wheels again. That's Cadillac, he shoots, the ball sails high. Out of bounds, backed up by Holy Cross. Yeah, real nice, real nice one-man fast break there, Dan. Uh, and uh, Kellick did exactly what you want to see uh, out of your out of your uh, midfielder. He took the ball down right down the center of the field. Nobody picked him up. He took the took the shot at about uh, 10 yards, just shot a little bit high. That's Kennedy coming around the cage. Looks behind him. Didn't have anybody to give it to. Crusaders working around. That's a shot saved to Luca. Yeah, that was an easy one for DeLuca to handle, basically right in his stick. Holy Cross full of a lot of hustle early on. Pace of this game is rapid fire. We're under nine minutes to go. Had very few stoppages. Two to nothing. Favor of the visitors from Worcester, Massachusetts. They're on their spring break trip right now. They'll have a Tuesday game right here at Jacksonville against Mercer. Holy Cross on the clear. Not quite what they were looking for, but sex successful nonetheless. Whatever works. John Hannon on the far side, setting up the Holy Cross offense. Ball up top to Curran. Errant pass intended for Chris Smith from Forgham Prep in Rye, New York. We'll have some substitutions for Holy Cross. There's your cutter. He loses control of the ball, but picks it up. Shedding the Jacksonville defense, heading to the net. DeLuca intercepts the pass across the crease. Another example there, Dan, of a, of a, uh, a player thinking, uh, thinking the goalie is gonna, gonna let a pass come right through his crease, and uh, that very rarely, very rarely happens. A goalie usually step out and pick that pass off. 
This Holy Cross team is full of energy early on. Jim Morrissey really testing the depths of his benches to maintain this pace early. It's David Goldman near side with the ball for Jacksonville. Goal line extended for Canary. Marking up Canary is defenseman David Henry for the Crusaders. Here comes Goldman. He kicks the ball up top. Over to Goldman. Goldman can't hang on. Ball down. It's a ground ball battle, and it's won by Holy Cross. Nice ball movement there, Dan, but uh, maybe maybe one too many passes. Uh, uh, Jeremy Tissenbaum actually had a, about a 12-yard shot, and he uh, elected to make the extra pass. Uh, a little bit too tight and uh, couldn't handle the ball. 13 is John Han, and he's 5'10", 180 from Chaminade High School in New York. I think, uh, I think that 5'10 stat may be giving him a little uh, credit, about two uh, inches worth. Well, I was kind of thinking the same thing. I was <laughs> like, really, 5'10? Hmm. Holy Cross sets the offense, coming around the cage, it bounces off another, the pipe. Another pipe. That was a shot by Clay Harmon. That's uh, three pipes already in the early going here for Holy Cross. Here come the Dolphins. Shot, sails wide. That was Chip Young. 6'1", 185 from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania's Mount Lebanon High School. We've got a TV timeout. Score, Holy Cross two, Jacksonville nothing. Coming to us, San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy. This is going to be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle to cross. Bounce. Score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left handed shot by Vasilovsky. This is Jim Morrissey, head men's lacrosse coach at Holy Cross, and you're watching LAX TV. Head coach Jim Morrissey from Holy Cross bringing us back from that break. Jacksonville with the ball. They're working it around. Errant pass is going to go out of bounds, give it back to Holy Cross. Yeah, kind of a, uh, a lazy pass from Donovan Lang. Uh, bounced well short of, of uh, Connor Igo, and he, and he couldn't handle it. Those are, and those are the turnovers that, that drive any coach crazy, but uh, certainly Coach Guy Van Arsdale hates to see that. Starting it back up for Holy Cross will be Matt Boylan from Kings Park, New York. He kicks it over to Terry McKenna. Seems like we're calling a new name all the time. We've got an, an injured JU Dolphin. That's Garofsky who came off the field. Looks like he may have taken a, 
a pretty hefty slash to the hand. No, what happened, Dan, is he he tried to uh, he tried to check the uh, ball away from the uh, clearing Holy Cross midfielder, and he wrapped his wrapped his wrist around the. Uh, uh, the Holy Cross player's uh, waist, and I think he kind of sprained his wrist a little bit. No matter how you slice it, that hurts. Shot from, looked like it was Kennedy as he came back from around the back of the cage. No, that was not Kennedy. That was McGee hit. That loud noise you hear is the wind, folks. <laughs> Blow, blowing right through us and our microphones. <laughs> Dan Matthews and Todd Walker with you here on LAX TV. The last of five games this weekend, live and free on LAX TV. Again, the, the pass across is, is intimidated at very least by DeLuca and sails out of bounds. Jacksonville will get the restart. DeLuke is not going to allow that ball to go through the crease, that's for sure. <laughs> DeLuca has the clear to Cameron Mann. Man gets the ball down low. Jacksonville very patient on offense. There's a shot by Lang. Good save. Save made by Kenny O'Connor. Holy Cross scoops up the ground ball. We'll head into the off other offensive zone, unable to clear. Dropping the ball was Will Cummings. You can follow us on Twitter or interact with us. Twitter handle at LaxTV, L-A-X-X-T-V. Dan Matthews and Todd Walker in Jacksonville, Florida. Ball down low. Pass behind, up to Mann. Mann works to get nice his hands look. free. Can't, gets a good look across the field. Great slides by the Holy Cross defense. There's Mann. Mann had the move and didn't take the shot. No, it was kind of a foolish uh, underhand backhand pass, Danny. He, uh, he really had, had time to, to bring the stick back up to his head and, uh, and, make, a, and make a good feed across the, uh, across the crease. Uh, really, no, really no reason to even try that. Coach Van Arsdale coaching up Cameron Mann. After that one, he wanted the shot. His hands were free. All he had to do was put it on net. You certainly don't score if the ball doesn't travel toward the net. Jacksonville with the ball, they'll clear and head into the offensive zone. Mann's coming off the bench. If they see him, they'd have the cut. Jacksonville working to settle it in. Man with it now, near side, on the wing. Kenny O'Connor squaring up and protecting the pipe. Inside nice. shot, goal, nice look to TJ Canary. Yeah, real nice, real nice feed from the wing by cameraman. Again, uh, there's, your, there's your smart, smart, uh, Smart play from the uh, one of the playmakers for for Jacksonville. Uh, T.J. Canary, we should mention, is uh, from one of the one of the new hotbeds of, of high school across uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, a lot of a lot of Division One kids coming out of Atlanta right now. Cameraman again uh, just spots Canary on a little little C cut. Uh, had enough space between him and his defender. Had his hands free to take a good shot. Holy Cross in transition. Shot and the save made by DeLuca, helping to send the ball high up over the crossbar. This game is, is well attended here on the campus of Jacksonville University. Andrew Morici, he's got one already today. 
He's dodging down the right alley, working to get his hands free. Forced to goal line extended and has to put the ball back at X. Got a quick stall warning from the officials. Got the ball down. Holy Cross will scoop it up. That's McGeehan. And he brought the ball out of the box after he picked it up, Dan, so that's delay a game, and the uh, ball goes over to Jacksonville. Nice job by the Jacksonville defense to force that ball out of the box. That's the end of one here at DB Milne Stadium at Jacksonville University. Your score, Holy Cross two, Jacksonville University one. We're back at Jacksonville University. Two to one visitors after one. I'm Dan Matthews with Todd Walker. Bam Shaft, proud sponsor of NCAA lacrosse today right here on LAX TV. Tune in at the end of the game for our Bam Shaft player of the game. The wind's died down a little, at least temporarily. The sun beating in our backs. I expect that to last a good uh, 45 seconds or so, Dan. All right. Hey, you know what? I'll take any break we can get right now. I'm, uh, I've sent a, sent a courier out to look for some uranium to put in my pockets. We're getting ready for the second quarter faceoff. It'll be William Vogt from Exeter in Stratham, New Hampshire. Set to take on A.J. Gorente from the Heights School in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I'm Dan Matthews with Todd Walker. Salida Gorman's down on the sidelines. And we'll get to see her smiling face before too long. Quick face off and the break. Love the transition goal. That's Guarente. Right off the face, his first goal of the season. Coming off that face off. And uh, that's, a, that's a strong kid right there, Dan. The, uh, the uh, Jacksonville pole on the, uh, the faceoff was lining him up for a trail check uh, after he picked up the ground ball on the faceoff. He got the trail check, and Gorentry was uh, strong enough to, to, uh, to just keep, keep running through the check and, and get the shot off. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a good, tough play right there. That's a Fogo's dream. Got an interference on the faceoff. And Holy Cross will set up the offense. There's a quick shot and another goal. Holy Cross lighting them up rapid fire. That was Kyle Cadlick from Roxbury Latin in West Roxbury, Massachusetts. That's also his first goal of the year. We'll go back to the X. Two goals for Holy Cross in the first 13 seconds of the second period and we've and they've opened up a three goal lead. Another face off win. Cadillac gains possession. Dishes it to Darty. Darty works the ball into the box and gives it up to Kennedy. James Kennedy from Summit, New Jersey. Had a monster game in the opener versus Hartford. Make him, making him everybody's player of the week.
Good follow up by the Crusaders. Nice look. Great pass across the crease. Shot not quite there. Crusaders will slow it down just a little bit. Heck, they've got a whole minute without a score, Todd. <laughs> Nice poke. Good defensive play by Mike McCready from Jupiter, Florida's Dwyer High School. That's good, good short stick defense there. Kennedy's gonna come around, dish the ball up top. Good slide on defense by Jacksonville. Shot sails wide by Andrew Morici. Good swim, good job to settle the ball down by Doherty. Drops it off to Kennedy. Kennedy pulls out. Great defense by McCready. Up top, shot sails wide. That came off the stick of Colin McGeehan. Jacksonville gets possession on the great backup by Peter DeLuca. Yeah, again, kind of a mental error there by Holy Cross, Dan. Uh, no, no attack, but behind the cage to back up the shot and uh, uh, sort of an unforced error, uh, give the ball over to Jacksonville on the shot. This is the second this weekend for Jacksonville. Right now, they look like a team that's already played a game this weekend, whereas <laughs> Ho Holy Cross has not played one yet this weekend. This is their first. Nice shot. There's a shot high and a great shot and a goal by Connor Igo. From your neck of the woods, Todd, Worthington Kilborn in Columbus, Ohio. That's right. Uh, Connor, the younger brother of uh, Colin Igo, who is at, I believe, Notre Dame, if he has not graduated already. And uh, another, another just real good, uh, solid individual effort. Connor beats his guy down that right alley and puts a great high shot over the, over the top of uh, uh, Kenny O'Connor in the cage. Great hard shot. Procedure call on Holy Cross, Jacksonville ball. That's Ari Waffle. He's gonna take the ball behind the cage, pull it back out to Cameron Mann. We'll see if uh, Cameron does an invert here and takes his man behind the cage. And we saw this a little bit on Friday, Dan. They'll, they'll uh, bring everybody up on a high crease and let Cameron Mann work his man one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And we'll see if they make sure and get a backup on the backside once he brings it around. Holy Cross fans calling for a hold. Jacksonville with the ball, that's Igo at X. Sitting wide open if he wants him, it was TJ Canary, still open. They get it to Canary and back up top to Lang. Lang down low to Canary, on the wing near side. Good movement off ball by Jacksonville right now. Stall warning on the Dolphins. Ball must stay in the box. Good look. Good look to Canary. Canary drops it, heading through the crease. Ball still down. Coming out with it is Canary. Got a man down. And what we'll call the 20 yard line for Holy Cross. Injury time out. Let's go ahead and take a quick break with the score. Holy Cross four, Jacksonville two. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Bill Harkins and I'm the head men's lacrosse coach at Florida State University. And you're watching this game on LAX TV. Perfect.
Injury is to Jack Curran, a 5'11", 180-pound midfielder from Verona, New Jersey. Salida will check in and see what happened, and we'll get word from her in just a couple of moments. Lacrosse Talk, the only show in the world dedicated to the sport of lacrosse and everything it has to offer. That's not accurate. It's not the only one. There's other <laughs> shows out there. But it is the first and most comprehensive show, and it will air live tonight on Blog Talk Radio with yours truly. Dolphins score, making it four to three. That was, that was Canary, Dan, and uh, I, I was about to say earlier on the, on the uh, cut that Canary made through and, and the, the pass that he dropped, that he's gonna, he's gonna catch and finish about 99 out of 100 of those. And uh, that, was, that was one of the 99. Uh, good, good little move through the center of the field. Good catch and good finish. Lots of face-off procedure calls on, on Jacksonville. However, they have narrowed the deficit to one. And you would expect nothing less from a Guy Van Arsdale coach squad. Kennedy behind the net. Kicks it over to Matt Smith. Ball back out up top. Dodging the right alley. Into the middle to Kennedy. Kennedy shoots and scores. Wow. Great spin to the left hand and a rapid fire shot that DeLuca never saw. Uh, great, great hands there by Kennedy. That's uh, not, not a lot of space in there. Uh, made, that, made that catch, quick quick turn to his left and a uh, little, little sidearm uh, underhand shot up in the, up in the upper portion of the, of the net. That's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's an impressive, uh, impressive bit of stick work by uh, Kennedy. Back to the X, 9.15 to go in this first half. Five to three, Holy Cross. Rapid fire shots when Holy Cross gets the opportunity. That one sails out of bounds, backed up by goalie DeLuca. Again, nobody behind the net on attack for the Dolphins. Ball on the ground. Holy Cross picks it up. Matt Ward, another Chaminade graduate for the Crusaders. That's Cadillac. Settling the ball in behind the net is Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, that, uh, you may have heard that yellow call, Dan, that the uh, the Holy Cross bench was making. I haven't found anybody yet that can tell me why that's the, the universal call for uh, hold the ball, we're subbing somebody out, but it is. Uh, any place I've ever played, coached, officiated lacrosse, uh, that the call for a, a, a settle, to settle the ball down uh, while your team is subbing is yellow. Interesting, but I have a theory. That was a shot by Matt Smith, saved by DeLuca. DeLuca looks for the clear, and he gets it into Tanner Guard's stick. And here comes the JU clear. Successful clear for JU. That's Canary. Near side has his cutter and couldn't hit him. Great movement without the ball was David Goldman shooting right down the middle. Here comes Holy Cross the other way. Ball to the near side, wow. rapid fire hard shot by Matt Smith, and it's six to three. Seven twenty-three to go, first half. Your score, Holy Cross six, Jacksonville three. We'll be back right after this. Media timeout on the field.
Harris makes two, three moves, scores! Here come the Ducks. San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy. This is going to be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle to cross. Bounce. Score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left handed shot by Vasilovsky. Okay, for Holy Cross, number 38, he got hurt and he hurt his knee. He said that it feels really funny on the inside of his knee, and he's going to go back in the second half, he believes at this point, uh, but his trainer is still iffy. He's still not very sure about it because it still has that funny little feeling, he said. But as of right now, he's still planning on going back in the game. But uh, also for number on number eight for Jacksonville, Matt Gorowski, he was hurt. He hurt his shoulder earlier in the game, but he is now back playing in the game. So that's it on injuries down here. And we're going to bring it back up to the top. Thanks, Salida. Two reports in one go. Nice piece of reporting. Absolutely, sure is nice to have somebody down there that can that can feed the uh, information our direction, and uh, we're we're proud to welcome Salida uh, to our broadcast team. Jacksonville settling the ball in on offense. Cameron Mann has it. His team trailing six to three. I'll be interested to see what Coach Van Arsdale has to say to to Salida at halftime. Man on the wing was looking for Waffle. Waffle never saw it. Comes near side. That's Igo to Lang. JU working the ball around. Igo looks to free his left hand, spins back right, shoots right off the face mask of goalie Kenny O'Connor. That'll shake you up. <laughs> that was a nice, uh, nice roll back to the outside. Uh, Connor didn't have a, a, a whole lot of angle, but boy, a good hard shot. We want to thank all the fans tuning in to our Division I broadcasts right here on LAX TV. Dan Matthews and Todd Walker and Connor Igo sails one wide. Good moves by Igo. Igo just a sophomore. Guy Van Arsdale's got him for a couple more years. There's Waffle. Waffle has that one deflected by the goaltender Kenny O'Connor. Ball heads out of bounds. A great hustle by the Holy Cross defense. It's going to give the ball to the Crusaders. And that was Ryan Troy chasing it down for Holy Cross. Crusaders on the clear. Near side is David Henry. He gets it up to Matt Smith, brings it across the midfield stripe. Want to take a minute to uh, thank the uh, athletic staff here at Jacksonville University. Uh, Alan Verlander, Joel Lamp, and Jim Nacella been very gracious hosts and, and uh, provided us with everything we need to be able to bring you these games on LAX TV. So uh, a thank you to them for hosting us here in Jacksonville, Florida. Holy Cross with possession. Pace has slowed down just a little bit. Just under four and a half to go in the first half. The Crusaders leading by three. Here comes Kennedy. It's a nice look by Kennedy coming around the crease. DeLuca chases it down. And then that's huge to have a goalie that can get out of that net and chase the ball down. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, 
Yeah, I keep coming back to it, Dan. You, you got to have somebody uh, on that backside, though, to, to back those shots up. And when Kennedy brings it around like that, uh, you know, they've got a, they've got the, everybody up on a high crease, and that just leaves nobody home. And uh, and that's that's uh, if you don't if you don't make that shot uh, or the you know get a deflection uh, off the goalie out front, uh, the ball's turning over. So uh, it's uh, sort of a sort of a. Uh, a win-lose situation. If you don't score the goal, you got problems. Nice Ball look. inside, nice moves. Great fakes and a patient shot by Garofsky. Good thing he's healthy enough to be back in there. Six to four, Holy Cross now. Yeah, again, Dan, I think that was uh, Cameron Mann, number four, uh, starting the ball on the wing and, and uh, throwing a couple moves on his man, and, and uh, it seems like the uh, Holy Cross defense will, uh, <laughs> all eyes go to go to uh, man when he's got the ball and uh, kind of took their eyes off Garofsky. Man finds him inside for an easy shot. Struggling to pick it up was uh, Will Crenshaw, but he does and heads the other direction. We're gonna have a flag on, oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Referee started to move for his flag and decided he wasn't going to. We've got people hitting the turf all over. DeLuca making a save. And I don't know what changed his mind, but I sure thought that the laundry was gonna hit the field. <laughs> Canary behind the cage. Takes it out, goal line extended, far side. Settling the offense at the top is Connor Igo. Igo, Craig, shoot, ah. scores! <laughs> Igo's got a cannon on both arms. <laughs> he really does. He's, uh, we, didn't, we didn't see this out of him on, uh, on Friday against Michigan, but uh, uh, Connor Igo is not shy about shooting the ball today. He catches the ball in that alley and just blazes a left-handed heater over the top of, uh, of uh, Kenny O'Connor. That's a, that's a great shot. The Dolphins have scored plenty of goals this season. Igo only had one coming into today. He's got two more today. We've got a timeout. Holy Cross. Let's see if Salida can get into that huddle and find out what head coach Jim Morrissey has to say while we take this commercial break. This is Jim Morrissey, head men's lacrosse coach at Holy Cross, and you're watching LAX TV. Welcome back, everybody. Dan Matthews, Todd Walker, and Salida Gorman here with you at Jacksonville University, where our halftime score is the Holy Cross Crusaders seven, the Jacksonville Dolphins five. Well, again, we sure appreciate all of you for uh, tuning in this afternoon. As you look at that home screen and you're watching the game on the top right-hand side is a donate button. If you like what you see and you wanna keep us on the air and keep things going, please, please make your contributions to LAX TV so that we can continue to subsidize the, the expense of bringing you these high quality broadcasts really from all over the country. Last week it was Portland. This week it's Jacksonville. Two weeks from now, St. Louis. And we're hoping to pull off a weekend in Colorado and a weekend in Salt Lake City as well. So uh, lots of action that can be had and uh, it, really, it really needs to uh, build through your support and the support of our sponsors. <laughs> We're kind of like uh, public television folks, except we don't get the money from the government that public TV does. So. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. 12 goals in the first half, Todd, and, and it started off fast and furious. Yeah, uh, Holy Cross uh, uh, scored two, two quickies that... Uh, All right, driving the alley, uh, there's a yeah, save. A little nervous that, that that game might get away from him uh, right away uh, early on. Um, uh, but uh, uh, Jacksonville sort of staunched the bleeding there, uh, uh, scoring that the, the third goal uh, by uh, uh, T.J. Canary, and, and uh, kind of got got themselves got themselves back into it. 
Yeah, there's there's Canary. This is the scoring. first goal by Jacksonville with Canary. Yeah, and good, good hard, good hard left-handed shot. Uh, and and here's a, here's another quickie from Holy Cross. Uh, this this is the the face-off goal that we had. Yeah, Guarante. by Guarante, um, just right off the face-off and taking it to the hole. Uh, uh, Fogo's dream. Yeah, um, unbelievably strong play by Gu Guarante, and he's sort of a sort of the pre your prototypical face-off guy, uh, kind of a fire plug. He's uh, built low to the ground, uh, nice nice uh, low center of gravity, and uh, uh, there's there's the first first uh, goal from Igo uh, again. Uh, He's he's been a monster over on that uh, on that right wing. Uh, that was a that was a righty shot from him. He's uh, yeah, we see a, we see a good hard lefty shot from him here a little bit later. And uh, Connor's been been living in that alley all day. And there was uh, that uh, the the next goal of the game was was uh, uh, Jamie, Jamie Kennedy and and. Uh, uh, again, great, great display of hands on the inside. Uh, catch, left hand catch, spin, and, and uh, quick shot. Uh, really, really a nice piece of stick work. And then uh, two goals, kind of rounding out the the half. The the last goal, which was was scored by uh, by Holy Cross and and the Connor Igo goal, uh, the rocket with the, with the left hand really kind of rounded out the scoring in the first half. Uh, a great first half of action here at Holy Cross, uh, score, or at, at Jacksonville, Holy Cross leading seven to five. We're about six minutes out from uh, the end of halftime. And uh, I expect fireworks in the second half. Yeah, I, I, no reason to say that any, either of these teams are gonna, are gonna try and slow it down. Um, I will say, I will make one observation here, Dan. Uh, Coach Jimmy Morrissey really seems to favor the uh, the the the, uh, the strong uh, small midfielder that, that can that can motor, and they've all got cannons. Uh, those guys uh, they do it they do a great job working their way uh, backing their man down into the into the middle of the field and getting their hands free to take a good hard shot. Uh, only only the pipe uh, kept them kept them from scoring probably the first five goals of the game. Uh, they they clanked uh, clanked three off the iron early in the early. Uh, first quarter, uh, or might have been up five nothing. So um, Jacksonville a little bit lucky maybe to to uh, to have not been down by a lot more coming out of that first quarter and uh, leaving leaving themselves some uh, some space to come back. Certainly, certainly. And folks, if you can't get enough lacrosse, uh, you you can listen to Todd and me tonight on Blog Talk Radio. Just search Lacrosse Talk. We'll be live from Chicago Pizza down on the banks of the St. John's River at the landing at uh, 7 o'clock Eastern time for another edition of Lacrosse Talk. Tonight's guest, Terry Foy from Inside Lacrosse, Jack Coyne from Lacrosse Magazine will join us. We'll have David Franklin give us a, a preview of Division Three and kind of sum up a little bit about what's going on. And always our Crooked Arrows segment on the production of the uh, Crooked Arrows film uh, that's been going on and, and is about to be released. Let's take a break, and when we come back, Salita Gorman will be with head coach Jim Morrissey from Holy Cross. Number seven, Gary Cosby. Come the Ducks, San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy. This is going to be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle of the cross. Bounce, score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left-handed shot by Vasilovsky. This is Jim Morrissey, head men's lacrosse coach at Holy Cross. 
and you're watching Lax TV. I'm down at the field with head coach Jim Morrissey. Coach, you're going into the second half ahead. What does this mean for your team? Uh, it just means that we've completed 30 minutes of play and two teams are battling out. But uh, there's a long, long way to go. So we respect this team greatly. We want to keep getting in, in the hole and transition, limit their transition opportunities, and just take it one quarter at a time and, and play a complete 60 minutes. All right, your team right off the faceoff in the start of the second quarter scored two back-to-back -back goals. What did you say to your team right before you started the second quarter? You know, just play hard and play smart and do what we do. And, and we want to score in transition just like they do. And we were lucky to get a couple off the faceoff. And, you know, I credit our shooters and, and our defensive midfielder, uh, Kyle Cadlick, that scored the goal, as well as our faceoff man. We'll take those goals any day. All right, Coach, you just came from your huddle. Um, what did you tell your team whenever you went over there for halftime? Hustle for 60 minutes. It's a great team we're playing. They can explode for a lot of goals. We respect them and just play hard second half. All right, thank you very much. Good luck the rest of the game. Thank you. All right, we're going to bring it back up to Todd and Dan. Thanks, Alita. Sure appreciate that. Uh, head coach Jim Morrissey has been great to work with this weekend. We sure appreciate the coaches that, that take this time to, to talk to us at halftime and uh, give us a little bit more insight. Our score is Holy Cross 7, Jacksonville 5. We're going to take a 30-second timeout and be back for the second half right after this. in Jacksonville, Florida, on the beautiful campus of Jacksonville University. Dan Matthews and Todd Walker, and the second half is underway. Jacksonville gains the second half faceoff. Working the ball is Gorowski. He gets it up to vote. Vote has Lang coming onto the field and passes the ball off to him. Dolphins are making their wholesale substitutions to start the second half. Todd, what, what can be done to, to change the mass substitutions off the faceoff? Well, I, I, I'd like to see something, Dan, in the, in the way of, uh, of uh, delaying the first faceoff until uh, either the first, the first dead ball on a on a ball out of bounds, or uh, something along those lines, to 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 ensure that the the guys that take the face off uh, stay on the field for for uh, at least uh, you know 30 seconds before before we start trading everybody off. And and the, the other thing that I that I think would 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 go a, a good ways to to uh, to doing that is by uh, requiring the ball once it's in the box to stay in the box. Uh, Get rid of the stall warning altogether. Uh, let's let's make the let's make the attack area mean something. And as soon as the the ball is possessed into the attack area, it has to stay in, uh, and, or or, or uh, uh, you get a turnover for delay a game. So uh, those are a couple things that I think they could do. Uh, do I think they will do it? Not necessarily, but uh, the, you know, might be a good opportunity to get rid of the shot clock idea too. Long stick, Mitty Matt Ward scores his third goal of the season. In transition for Holy Cross, and it's eight to five Crusaders. 
Yeah, and again, uh, you know, here's Matt Ward coming down. Nobody really picks him up, and, and, and you want your long pole thinking that he's a shooter when he comes down the field, and, and that's exactly what Ward did. He, he kind of got some uh, token resistance about the top of the box, but uh, nobody really stopped him. Go ahead, uh, if they're going to let you, take it in and take the shot. Reminiscent of a, a young man we have playing uh, in Denver for the Outlaws in, in Matt Bocklet. Yeah, absolutely. Bocklet, Bocklet loves to shoot, and uh, uh, you give him the opportunity, he'll take it all day long. It's a little different managing that long pole and, and being able to score with it uh, is, uh, takes a little extra effort. You know, these guys are these kids uh, anymore are so good with the long sticks that uh, I have no, uh, the ones that are proficient, you have no, no worries at all about them taking it and shooting it. Good stick check work behind the cage by David Henry for Holy Cross as he had TJ Canary marked up. Jacksonville settles the ball up top outside the box. Dishing to Cameron Mann, Mann drops it, but he's able to scoop up his own ground ball. Yeah, we're gonna get a push on that play, Dan. The laundry hits the field. We're gonna have a push. Yeah, number 12, Kyle Cadillac, um, uh, as, the ball, as the ball was down and, and uh, uh, Cameron Mann picked it up, he, he kind of really, really kind of punched him in the back and, and uh, if you get anything more than equal pressure on that play, it's supposed to be a push call. Frequently it is not, but the, the, the referee threw the flag on that one. So Jacksonville reset the offense. That's Lang near side. Dolphins are circling around. Gorowski top outside the box to Lang, back to Gorowski. Yeah, there's Down the there, there's a shot by Mann. Great goaltending by Kenny O'Connor for Holy Cross. And stepping into the crease was Mann. It'll be Holy Cross ball going the other direction. Yeah, Jacksonville got, got just a look they, were, uh, they wanted there, Dan. They, they did a nice job moving the ball around the perimeter, kind of drawing the, the D, guy, D poles out and uh, got, a, got a real nice look down on the crease. Uh, again, just another great save by Kenny O'Connor. Penalties released. Cadillac will come on the field. We're playing six on six, tripping over his own two feet. <laughs> on his way to the net was Andrew Marici. Ball comes out and it's still loose. Hate it when the turf monsters come out and get you. Well, that's one thing about the field turf, Dan. It's it's a great surface to play on, but uh, if you if you hit it just right with your with your cleats, your foot will stick and and uh, it'll it'll pull your feet right out from under you. Coming around the cage, out in front, missed the mark. Yeah, I, lots of guys hitting the turf right now, and, I, <laughs> and it doesn't happen by itself very often. Marici, it did. Definitely not down at this end. The refs have got to get in into the game where they're calling it uh, on both sides. Yeah, Jacksonville kind of got away with one there. Uh, goalie had, had already uh, made the outlet pass and uh, about 10 yards behind the play. Jacksonville, or the uh, Holy Cross kid hit the turf and uh, he didn't get there by himself. Cadillac cleared the ball for Holy Cross. Comes off the field. Well-deserved rest for Kyle Cadillac. Crusaders settle in on offense. Ten minutes to go here in the third quarter. Holy Cross up eight to five. That's a hold that did not get called. Referees have got to start to find it. I think Jim Morris is going to come out of his shoes any moment. <laughs> yeah, Mike McCready actually almost lifted the Holy Kid, Holy Kid, uh, Holy Cross kid off his feet with his stick. And uh, uh, in the, in the rule book, uh, that's that's uh, that's an obvious hold call. There's a rocket from the far side. It sails wide. I believe that was McGeehan. McGeehan working the ball around. We're near side to Marici. Marici has his man beat. Can't get the shot released. Nice. Does save DeLuca. Backing it up. 
was Kennedy. Kennedy across, gets a great look. Good save. DeLuca right now single-handedly keeping the Dolphins in this contest. Yeah, he got just a, just enough of that one to uh, to keep it out of the cage and uh, nice 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 save. Folks, I don't know if you tuned in on, on Friday or not, but uh, I'm sitting here Friday and a chair collapses right underneath <laughs> me, and uh, I'm sitting down for the first time since then <laughs> on these chairs. And so if you hear a really big thud, that's me. <laughs> In the meantime, Holy Cross holding on to a three-goal lead. McGeehan works the ball to the inside. Plays a little bit of catch. Pulls it out, near side wing. Working GLE, fires across. Great job defensively by Tanner Guard from Winter Springs, Florida. Jake Ziegler, team captain on the defensive side of the ball for uh, Jacksonville. Broke his stick and uh, is not a very happy camper right this minute. Uh, no kid likes to come off the field, especially when you're uh, the leader of one on one side of the ball or the other. Yeah, hopefully uh, Jake has, has got a backup stick that he's ready to, to pick up and, and go right back into the game with. Uh, there's a loose ball push on uh, Holy Cross. And the Holy Cross faithful are going to go nuts because that, that one got called and a, a couple they thought went against them have not been. Good, good time out by Coach Guy Van Arsdale. Uh, cameraman came up with possession. Uh, time to slow it down a little bit. We've got a timeout on the field. Holy Cross 8, Jacksonville 5. We'll be back on LAX TV. Come the Ducks, San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy, this is gonna be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle to cross, bounce, score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left-handed shot by Vasilovsky. Dan Matthews and Todd Walker back in Jacksonville, Florida. And Todd, the, the wind has been steady, but not nearly as bad as it was earlier. Uh, uh, in terms of intensity, it's backed off a little bit. It hasn't quit, but uh, but the uh, uh, we're, we're probably not getting the, the 30 miles an hour anymore. It's uh, quieted down to a, a balmy 20. So uh, at least we're not in danger of getting blown off the scaffolding here at uh, Jacksonville. Quint Miller starts it up for the Dolphins. Dolphins trailing by three. JU had a really good game against Michigan on Friday. If you didn't catch it, it's archived on the LAX TV website. Don't miss it. It was an overtime thriller that the Dolphins, uh, well, let's not talk about it. <laughs> Don't want to ruin the surprise. Wow. Good, good job to free the hands. That was Chris Smith from Rye, New York, getting the shot off. We're gonna take the media timeout now. Your score, Holy Cross eight, Jacksonville five.
Hi, I'm Bill Harkins, and I'm the head men's lacrosse coach at Florida State University, and you're watching this game on LAX TV. Perfect. in Jacksonville, Florida, and just in time for the restart for the Crusaders. That's Kennedy with the ball near side. He feeds it up top, shot sails wide. Yeah, it was Maurice again, Dan. He's been he's been real active and uh, he's taken a lot of shots. Uh, some of them have been uh, fairly wide of the mark. That one just whistled over the top of the goal. There's a save and a good save. Ball kicks loose. Here comes Jacksonville and Cameron Mann the other way. Bounce pass scooped up defensively by Tyler Black. We got two flags down <laughs> on that one and the Holy Cross fans coming out of their shoes. One of them has a slash. I don't know what, if the other one has the same penalty yeah, they or both, not. Yeah, they both have the same call, Dan, and uh, you're, you're right, the Holy Cross faithful here at Jacksonville uh, just just about had their brains explode uh, as, soon as, the, as soon as the flags went up in the air. But uh, 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 I think it was a good call. That's David Henry, 5'11", 185-pound defenseman out of Seaburn High School in Davidsonville, Maryland with a knee in the box. Looks like Clay Harmon is gonna be the one released for Holy Cross when this penalty ends. In the interim, the Dolphins looking for a quality shot. See if they can pull this one back within two. Man has his guy penetrating. Great stick work defensively by the Crusader defender, Greg Peterson out of Northwest Catholic in West Hartford, Connecticut. Holy Cross will get the ball and a great effort by the Holy Cross defense. Yeah, Dan, uh, <clears throat> Max Gorowski's coming off the field again. It looks like he uh, re-injured that left shoulder. Gorowski heading straight for the bench, dropping his stick. Uh, that may be the last we see of Gorowski today. Yeah, that uh, that shoulder's really giving him giving him a problem, and uh, it wouldn't wouldn't surprise me the way kind of the way he's been acting and uh, and and uh, the way he's holding his shoulder. It looks like he might have separated a little bit. Penalty released. Battle for the ground ball. Holy Cross scoops it up. That was a great effort to scoop it up by Terry McKenna. He goes to the net, wow. shoots and scores. Crusaders up by four. Nope, they call him in the crease. <laughs> Say he was in the crease. <laughs> Wiping off the goal. Play on. Yeah, the uh, Dolphins really dodged one there. That was like that was a great play by uh, by Holy Cross, uh, coming up with that loose ball up at, up near midfield and uh, moving the ball upfield. Uh, not sure if they called him for diving in the crease or uh, just that he hit inside the crease before the ball crossed the plane. Cameron Mann holding the ball near side outside the box. Kicks it up top to Lang to set the offense. Over to Igo, he's cradling left hand far side. Working the ball inside. That's I go to man. Man got his hands free, shoots it high. 
Uh, that's one of those where he probably should have kept the same plane and he would have had a, a goal. Yeah, number uh, number 31 for the uh, for the uh, Crusaders slid over Chris Smith. That was a nice uh, nice backup slide. If you're if you're Holy Cross, you gotta feel like like the refs don't see any white jerseys <laughs> on the field unless they're on the ground. Let's take a look at that goal uh, that, that was wiped out here, Dan, and, and see. Uh, scoops it up. That was a great effort to scoop it up. I'm Terry McKenna. He goes to the net. Yeah. The crease, and, and that's not a good call. That should have been a that should have been a goal for Holy Cross. Yeah. Nevertheless, we remain 8-5. Ball up top. Karofsky's back in. Wow. He's hurting, but he's going to play. Lang, man, Lang. Now circling the cage. Put the ball up top. That's man. Man shoots and scores. Great timing on the shot and the pass. It was a great feed to the near wing, and Cameron Mann buries the ball to the back of the net. Yeah, I think that was uh, Donovan Lang uh, dumping the ball down to Cameron Mann, and Cameron Mann's got a great fast release. Uh, I really didn't think he had enough room to get that shot off, and he does a real nice job on the, on the catch and quick shot. Put that past the goalie. Eight to six Dolphins trailing Holy Cross late in the third quarter. Dolphins win the faceoff. There's a, excuse me. Loose ball out of bounds. Yeah, Mother Nature created that one, Dan. We uh, we had a tough sun field last week up in Portland. Uh, we've got one here right now. It's a little bit different scenario. Uh, we don't have an east-west running field here, but we, uh, we've we got a north-south running field, and the uh, the setting sun was right in the uh, in the uh, Jacksonville defender's eyes as, as uh, uh, DeLuca made the pass across, and he just flat couldn't see it. Holy Cross on offense, shot wide. Backed up, restart for Clay Harmon for Holy Cross. Harmon comes around far side. His shot sails wide to the near side as well. Kennedy behind net. This Holy Cross squad likes to dodge from behind. Very nice That's move. That's Kennedy and DeLuca with a great save. No penalty. No penalty. Yeah, and Kennedy got pasted after that shot, Dan. Good legal hit, but he got drilled. And again, the Holy Cross fans are not happy, but it was it really was a it really was a, a good check. And if, if we've got the that replay, maybe we can take a look at it. Head coach Jim Morrissey hauling out onto the field. Not at all happy with the official either. Contingent believes it's a cross check high to the face. Love to get a look at that one if we can. Tune in after the game, folks, for the Head Wraps wrap up show. We'll talk with the Bam Shaft player of the game as well as both coaches here today. Here's the replay. Let's take a close look at that one, Todd. And here comes Kennedy round, a nice fake, takes the shot. And there's nothing wrong with that, Dan. He, he really got hit right on the side, and, and uh, uh, you know, he may have, he may have uh, his neck may have gotten jarred a little bit by the hit, but it really, really did not look like an illegal check to me. It looked like it was on the shoulder uh, from my angle. He, he got him on the side, and uh, sometimes, sometimes even a legal check can, uh, can do some damage. So. Jacksonville throws away the loose ball. We're down in the Holy Cross offensive zone, but Jacksonville scoops up the loose ball. DeLuca fires it. It's picked off. Here comes Holy Cross in transition. Inside, shot high. Clay Harmon missing the net. 
yeah, on again, transition. Again, uh, Jacksonville dodging a huge bullet there. DeLuca made really kind of a silly pass up field up into the, uh, in the center of the field across midfield. Nobody home except the, the Holy Cross player, and uh, he, he really got lucky that, uh, that that shot went high. As always, you can interact with us on Twitter. Twitter handle for Lax TV is at Lax TV, L A double X TV. Dan Matthews and Todd Walker in Jacksonville, Florida, where Holy Cross has a two goal lead over the Jacksonville University Dolphins. That's a good, good, quick lefty shot by uh, uh, Colin McGeehan on that, on that Dan, uh, just a little bit wide, but uh, not a bad idea. He was kind of had his uh, defender using it as a screen, and uh, DeLuca had that been on cage, would have had a tough time saving it. Clay Harmon with the feed. Nice shot, shot. Score. That one by John Hannon. 5'10", 180 pound midfielder from Manhasset, New York, in Chaminade High School. That makes the score nine to six, Crusaders. Yeah, that was actually uh, Clay Harmon finding uh, John Hannon and, and uh, uh, just a, a nice job again, John Hannon getting free and uh, making a nice catch and finish. This face off won by Jacksonville. That's Vote who picks up his own face off. Drops it, loses possession out of bounds. It'll be Holy Cross ball. Just under a minute to go in the third quarter. Ball back in play. Crusaders looking for the clear. Very patient. Again, they're going to be going to want to be conscious of the of the sun here, Dan. Any anything going from uh, west to east is going to be a tough catch. Nice swim move there by Terry McKenna to clear the ball into the offensive zone. Go. Go. McKenna's in the box and out of the box. Good clear. Twenty seconds in the quarter. Twenty seconds. Yeah, I would expect them to. Uh... Yeah. There's a shot and a goal coming from behind the cage. <laughs> Colin McGeehan, 6'2", 205 from Malvern Prep in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. I was about to say, Dan, that I would expect him to work the ball to uh, Kennedy to, to hold for that last shot, but uh, uh, McGeehan. Proved me, proved me wrong, went right to the cage and uh, took, a, took a nice shot, put it past DeLuca. Uh, again, maybe using the sun a little bit to their advantage. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, opening up a four goal lead late in the third quarter are the Crusaders. Crusaders will have a tough road to hoe in conference play, but uh, their non-conference schedule so far, they've looked really good. <laughs> And the, the Holy Cross fans, Dan, are not happy because the clock continued to run for, oh, maybe half a second after the after the ball went out of bounds and was ac actually whistled dead. We, we do have a whistle that's going to stop play. Looks like they may put a second or two back up on the clock I, uh, I, I, and, I, I, and restart from behind. Yeah, I thought I saw 3.8 when the ball went over the end line and I heard the whistle, Dan. So, uh, uh, we'll see if they do. Yeah, they'll, they'll kick it up to six, 3.86. <laughs> Todd, it really looks all alike, right? That's, that, that may be a little more generous than I'd have been inclined to go, Dan, but uh, uh, nonetheless, we got a little extra time. That feet up top, shot, save DeLuca. Nice, nice save. Clock's going to expire. And heading into the fourth quarter, we're going to have a flag on the field. And a four-goal lead for the Holy Cross Crusaders. Yeah, we're getting a little we're getting a little chippy here, Dan. Uh, I think we've got uh, we're going to have unnecessary roughness on number 24 for Holy Cross, John Thority. Um, after the after the shot and after the whistle, a uh, little little extracurricular activity there on the crease. 
That's 60 seconds in the box for Holy Cross. We'll have uh, no face-off when we start the fourth quarter. It'll be JU Ball trailing by four. Come the Ducks, San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy, this is gonna be an goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle to cross, bounce, score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left-handed shot by Vasilovsky. Todd Walker. We're about to enter the fourth quarter. Dolphins trail by four. Head wraps. And the head wraps post game show, a wrap up show coming up a little bit later. Head wraps ignited the helmet graphics revolution in early 2009 and has continued to revolutionize the graphics industry ever since. Today, with offices in both Las Vegas, Nevada, and Hop Hop, New York, head wraps continues to be the industry leader in custom helmet graphics. Stay tuned for the Headwraps wrap-up show at the conclusion of today's game. Early on fourth period, Jacksonville trails by four but has possession. Nice There's look. a feed inside. Ho oh, ho, the crossbar saves goalie Kenny O'Connor. There's a chase for the that's loose ball. There's another yeah. flag down. Yeah, that's a good call. This one's going to be a slash. It's going to bring Greg Peterson off the field. Yeah, that, that's a good call, Dan. Uh, Peterson, the ball was down in front of him, but he, he was making no, no play on the ball whatsoever and really, really just uh, laid the lumber to the, to the uh, Jacksonville midfielder. And uh, hopefully, hopefully they make that call every time. Kyle Cadillac came to the sideline and grabbed a long pole. So they got four long poles in on defense. About 20 seconds left on the first penalty. J.U. with a two-man advantage. There was a nice look to the near side to Ari Waffle. First look he's had in today's game. One penalty's been released. Waffle up top. Canary scoots nice in and scores. That's a nice move. That's a great drop move. And a goal by T.J. Canary. Yeah, Dan, we've uh, we've seen cameraman go to that uh, go to that dodge a couple times. Um, uh, Holy Cross has, has gotten a stick on yeah, it. Uh, both times he did. The first time seen Canary down low to avoid the shot. That's a nice move. That's a great shot. Holy Cross down. J.U. seven. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who taught it to who, but uh, both those guys seem to like that dodge. Holy Cross wins the faceoff. And now There's we're going to get the flag down. Now we're going to get two flags uh, down. It's getting chippy. It's getting really chippy. I, I don't know that these two teams have a history, <laughs> but after today they will. <laughs> we're uh, we may be starting a new a new chapter here, but I think we're going to have uh, we've got uh, one man out for slash, one man out for cross check. So uh, turnabout fair play. Uh, now uh, Holy Cross is going to be two man up for uh, a minute. Sitting in the box, number 44, Chip Young, the senior to midfielder from Mount Lebanon in Pittsburgh, PA. I can't, I can't see the number of the other man in the box. Looks like number nine, Tanner Guard. 
Each of them given uh, a one minute penalty. Two man advantage, Holy Cross. Ooh, there's a, there's a poke check in the head that did not get called. Nice there's shot. a shot and a goal. Great shot, great angle by John Hannon again for Holy Cross. I believe he's got two of the last three Holy Cross goals and three out of the last five. Yeah, real impressed with uh, John Hannon, Dan. He's got a, he's got a good stick and uh, again, uh, seems to be the the, the kind of the, the size player that uh, Coach Jimmy Morrissey likes. He's, he's kind of a fire plug, not real tall, but but very solid. So it's 11-7. Holy Cross answering the goal by Jacksonville. Faceoff win. Here's another quick one. That's Hannon again. <laughs> Holy Cross up 12-7. Holy Cross has been everything we wanted to see on uh, on Friday out of Michigan and Jacksonville with that transition scoring. Yeah, they're, they they do a really great job of pushing the ball up field and 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 probably more importantly, uh, the, their attack does does a, a good job of putting themselves in the correct position to receive that pass and uh, and finish. Uh, a lot of times anymore. Uh, You'll see the attack really kind of in the wrong spot to to to, to get the ball and and go. And we've, we've somebody said something on the way off the field <laughs> that drew the ire of the official, throwing the flag not up for the penalty, but at the, at the player. Yeah, AJ Garante uh, did not like the uh, the illegal procedure call on the face off, and uh, uh, my uh, unsportsmanlike. My impression is that he was questioning the parentage of the of the official coming out of the face, and uh, the official took exception, and uh, out came the flag. So, uh, yeah, uh, Jacksonville will be uh, man up for a minute. No release. And what that means uh, for the uninitiated is that uh, no matter how many goals Jacksonville scores, uh, Garanti is going to stay in the box. There's a shot, Waffle, save O'Connor. Nice play. Garofsky has it. A little engine that could, Garofsky just won't quit. Shoulder hurting and all, he stays in the game. 20 seconds left on the penalty. Yeah, Jacksonville really needs to get more than one decent look at the at the cage here during this penalty. Wind's picked up a little bit. Lang has it. Canary, far side. There's a shot and a save. O'Connor. And on the turf is Garofsky again. Yeah, he. I think uh, you know, they know he's hurting, and they're taking <laughs> yeah. their shots everywhere they can get them. Yeah, he's. Uh, Garofsky's not gonna not gonna see a lot of rest the rest of this game. Here comes Holy Cross in transition. Hannon was sitting all alone just at the top of the crease. Good thing for Jacksonville that he went unseen by his teammates. Twelve seven our score. Eleven and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Shot from the top, Marici. Galuka got a piece of it and sails over the cross bar. After the game, don't forget, folks, we'll have the head wraps wrap up show, which will include our Bam Shaft player of the game. And with 11 minutes to go, uh, my nod would go to John Hannon for Holy Cross. Yeah, right now, right now he's he's looking pretty good, Dan. We'll see what happens on the on the rest of the game. But, uh, There's a feed and a good save by Deluca, and on the clear is Jake Ziegler. Lang clears the midfield stripe. Ball's in the box. That's Owen Green. Pass intended for Cameron Mann is missed, but Mann's able to be the one that scoops it up. 
We've got a short stick on Cameron Mann. We'll see where if he goes the cage. Good look. Great, great stick checks by Holy Cross. Uh, continually dislodging the ball. Uh, fortunately, Jacksonville able to pick it up and maintain possession. Yeah, again, Dan, I think TJ Canary held on to the ball a little bit too long. He had a nice 11 yard shot when he first caught it and uh, didn't take it. Forced to the bad angle shot was Connor Igo. Connor sort of ran himself out of angle before he let it go. There's man. He drops the ball, able to scoop it back behind the cage. Back up top to Lang, near side I go. I go, right hand spin, picked up on the slide by defender Greg Peterson. Defense. Good defense. Yeah, we're gonna get a trip call on this yeah, one. Yeah, going to the ground was Lang. Not <laughs> sure how much that was really forced by Holy Cross, but uh, the flag seemed to just keep popping out of those pockets. Well, you know, it, it, that's that's unfortunate, Dan. But it, you know, the, it, uh, if you if your stick trips up the man that you're guarding, uh, intentional or not, you're you're going to get that called uh, nine times out of ten. And uh, he may, went for the went for the stick check, missed his checks laying on the his stick is laying on the ground. And the uh, Jacksonville player trips over it. Uh, kind of a no-brainer. It is. We're going to have a timeout <laughs> just before the nine-minute mark of. The fourth quarter, it's 12 to seven, Holy Cross. We'll be back with the conclusion right after this. I was just confirmed that Max Gorowski is not going back into the game. He is having had issues with his shoulder the entire game, and they're working on him behind me here. It looks like he has a separation, some type of shoulder separation. It's mi It looks minor. It doesn't look bad, but he's been stretching it and trying to fix it the whole game, trying to tough through it, but as of right now, he has his jersey off. He has all his gear off, so he's definitely staying out of the game. So we're going to take it back up top. A little bit later, I'm going to try and meet with one of the parents in the stand. So back to you guys. Thanks, Salida. We sure appreciate that. And uh, too bad for, uh, for Gorowski. Uh, tried to tough it out all day. Nice Just shot. Just couldn't do it. There's a nice feed inside to Waffle. And Waffle's on the board after, uh, after being the star of the game uh, on Friday. Took him a little bit of time to get rolling today. Yeah, kind of, kind of surprised. Uh, uh, Dan uh, Waffle really hasn't, uh, hasn't even, hasn't looked for a whole lot of shots. He, he had a couple inside that he uh, wasn't able to put on cage, uh, but that was a nice job sneaking around the crease, uh, and a good job by the midi to, to find him coming around. Uh, Waffle makes the catch and, and uh, easy, easy shot. <laughs> There's another procedure call. There's a shot, score. Two quick ones now for Jacksonville and they're right back in it at 12 to nine. That was Owen Green from Atlanta, Georgia's Love It High School.
Yeah, real nice, real nice job off the uh, procedure call on the on the faceoff. I really don't know why we don't see more of those uh, more goals like that, Dan. Once when you've got a uh, when you've got to run that faceoff man off the off the field, you've got an automatic fast break, and uh, I'm surprised more teams don't take advantage of it. Looking for another transition goal, maybe? No. Jacksonville will pull it out. Bring in the personnel they want. Settle the offense down. Just under nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Two quick ones. Puts Jacksonville back in this at 12-9, Holy Cross. There's Cameron Mann. Out to Wood up top. Got to clear Trying out to get the sweep. hands free. There's a good save by O'Connor. There go the papers now. <laughs> nice feed. There's a nice feed and an even better and save, a great save by DeLuca. We'll go the other way. Quick clear for Jacksonville. Good job on the clear. Fundamentally, just dropping balls that they shouldn't drop uh, are the Dolphins today. I'm not sure why. But here comes Owen, Will Owen Green. Owen Wilson's the actor. <laughs> I'm sure he's got a new movie out. And here comes JU, left side dodge. That's how I go. Shot. Three quickies right after that timeout by Coach Van Arsdale. Sure, he was not happy with his squad. Yeah, Dan, uh, Connor Heiko really, really stepping it up today. Uh, he, 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 uh, he saw a fair bit of action in, on Friday's game against Michigan, but we saw we saw nothing like nothing like this out of him on uh, Friday. He's, he's he's playing a great game. That was Dan McNulty on the faceoff for Jacksonville. He won it and scooped it. He'll come off the field now in favor of Lang. Three possessions, three goals for Jacksonville. This is their fourth consecutive possession. They're scoring in a hurry, wow. and there's another one. <laughs> Here come the Dolphins, boo. Rob Wirtz, the freshman from Mannheim Township in Lancaster, PA. Yeah, Dan, if we could see the uh, see the replay, uh, Wirtz, Wirtz comes across the field on a sweep. Uh, Holy Cross sort of goes for the trail check and misses. I think Wirtz thought he was not going to have the ball, and he took the shot, and, and uh, it really looked like uh, Kenny O'Connor uh, was sort of handcuffed. He wasn't expecting the shot to come, and uh, it uh, right, right past the stick and uh, in the goal for a hoop. That's four in a row for the fish. Holy Cross needs a face-off win badly. And they're not going to get it here, or are they? No. A fifth consecutive possession now for JU. And this is Owen Green. Could it be five? Man's got his man beat. Save made by O'Connor. Yeah, cameraman really, really didn't have much of a shot and uh, probably would have been better served just to, to run that ball behind the cage and reset the offense. Didn't, wasn't able to get it much on that shot at all. Holy Cross, if nothing else, has benefit of a possession and can run the, run the clock down just a little bit. Take a little bit of wind out of the... The sale of the Dolphins. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they uh, if they take the take the air out of the ball here a little bit and run some clock or uh, or uh, keep uh, keep attacking. If I'm Holy Cross, I keep attacking. I've been successful all, all game. Why should it stop now? That's Kennedy. Nice Coming check from behind the cage. Ball checked loose. Jake Ziegler gets it back to his goaltender, Peter DeLuca. And we're going the other way with Will Crenshaw. Crenshaw, a sophomore. Nansamon Suffolk. 
Academy in Suffolk, Virginia. Yeah, Coach Van Arsdale called uh, Jake Ziegler his, his uh, best best one-on-one -on -one defenseman, and, and you saw why right there. They've got him matched up with with Kennedy, who is uh, who's Holy Cross's best attackman, and uh, Ziegler came out on top on that matchup. Good look Man to the coming crease. Coming down the alley, nice feed around. That was Ari Waffle coming around the cage. Took the shot just a little bit too soon. We're going to take a TV timeout. It's a one goal game with 5.08 to go here in the fourth quarter in Jacksonville University. We'll be back. Live here in Jacksonville, uh, you're watching a great game uh, between Jacksonville and Holy Cross. Holy Cross leading by one at the moment. Jacksonville seeking to knot it up. Much like Michigan did to them a little bit earlier. I don't have it blew away. 12-11. <laughs> JU with the ball, seeking to tie. Lacrosse Playground is your source of one of the most exciting sites for lacrosse. Visit lacrosseplayground.com today. There's Mann. He's being marked up defensively by Cadlick. Holy Cross gets the ground ball and possession. Crossfield pass, looking for the clears, Holy Cross. Another long pass. Holy Cross has the ball in the offensive zone, leading by one. Uh, that was a nice job to handle that clearing pass, Dan. That was right in the sun. And, uh, and uh, uh, Chris Smith able to pull it down in spite of looking, looking right into the, the teeth of the, of the sun. Holy Cross content now to run a little bit of time off this clock, holding on to a one goal lead. Kennedy comes around the cage. He's gonna bring it all the way up to the far wing. He's gonna dodge from that wing. No clear shot, spins inside. He's right on the crease, pulls it back out. And Holy Cross will reset the offense. Milking a one goal lead and some time off the clock. And we've got a stall warning from the Zebras, so uh, Holy Cross is going to have to keep it in the box. And there's three minutes left, so they're going to get they're going to get one in another 60 seconds anyway. Holy Cross with possession, now going to the cage, pulling it back out. There's a feed 
to Kennedy. That's not Kennedy, that's Harmon. Harmon with it behind the cage. Taking about 37 seconds off the clock. Holding on to a one goal lead. Let's go, Jay! Will we see bonus lacrosse? I'm not sure. We're going to see some pressure from Jacksonville before too long defensively, I'm sure, though. Come on, and we're under two minutes, Dan, so uh, we're keeping it. Holy Cross is going to have to keep it in the box the rest of the way out as long as they maintain the lead. Yeah. Great shot. There's a cannon from the top. Yeah. Widening it to a two goal margin. That looked like that was Marici. Marici, the senior from Chaminade High School in Manhasset, New York. Come on, Come on, Comes up big for his squad when they needed it most. Just under two minutes for JU to get two goals. Yeah, here's the, we'll see this play again, Dan, and the, and the, the pass goes up to that uh, top left point. And Marisi makes the catch and just, just puts a good hard shot past DeLuca. Big face off win for Guarente and Holy Cross when they needed it most. Going to the cage, it's Kennedy. Ball loose. Finally scooped up, nope. Still down on the ground. Kick three and scooped up by new captain Chip Young. Coach Van Arsdale naming Chip Young captain last year. And then J.U. throws it away. Owen Green saves it, but right to the Holy Cross defender. Yeah, I think we had another sun ball there, Dan, where uh, uh, Owen Green just couldn't, just couldn't pick the ball up coming out of the sun. There's a timeout on the field. Holy Cross will have possession with a 104 left to go in the fourth frame. You're watching NCAA Division I lacrosse on LAX TV. Harris makes two, three moves, scores! Here come the Ducks. San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy. This is going to be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle to cross. Bounce. Score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left handed shot by Vasilovsky. Set for JU. Holy Cross with possession of the ball. And it's going to be a tough road to hoe for the Dolphins. Inside Lacrosse, your source for the sport. Be interesting to see what uh, what Coach Van Arsdale's come up with out of this timeout, Dan. And, and uh, uh, Holy Cross certainly has a plan, which which uh, involves uh, certainly keeping it in the box to to uh, keep away from that delay call. Uh, Coach Van Arsdale will have put some sort of double package in at some point, and uh, we'll see we'll see if they're able to come up with a ball. It's a good job defensively by Ju, getting the ball free on the restart. That's Chip Young bringing it across the midfield stripe. He gets it down to T.J. Canary. Time is of the essence for Jacksonville University. There's Canary, coming back, shoots. Save made, scooped up by O'Connor. 35 seconds left. Really, they don't even have to clear it. They could run 30 seconds off the clock without even clearing the ball. Yeah, and they're aware of it too. That's really good heads up play by Holy Cross, not forcing the issue. Yeah, so a, what if you give the ball back? <laughs> kind of unfortunate there for Canary. Uh, Dan, he did a nice job getting the ball around the corner, and the ball just kind of rolled out of the top of his stick and hit the defenseman. Under 10. Holy Cross came out firing and never stopped, folks. With two seconds left, they're going to go on. 
to a 13 to 11 victory in their first of two here in Jacksonville, Florida. They've got another one on Tuesday against the Mercer Bears. A great all around performance from Holy Cross. We're gonna take a timeout. We'll come back with head coach Jim Morrissey and our player of the game, John Hannon. We'll be back right after this. traditional post-game handshake, Todd, and uh, I think that's one of the things I love most about this sport, and I probably say it at the end of every game, just the sportsmanship and the respect that all these kids have for the game um, and, and its history is really great, and uh, they're, they're mortal combatants on the field. <laughs> when all is said and done, it, it's... Uh, the, the sum of its parts is greater than the whole. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a nice tradition, Dan. With the the teams that I coach, uh, I have my kids take off their helmets and their gloves. Both, uh, I, I like the idea of, of uh, letting your letting your opponents uh, look you in the eye without the without the helmet being in the way and and a, and a bare hand handshake as opposed to a you know a, a gloved fist bump. A uh, little more personal, a little more uh, I think a little more gentlemanly to to uh, way to approach the uh, the, the post game handshake and uh, and uh, just. A, just a nice tradition. Really is, and uh, that one, that one was a, a, a rather, a rather quick one, but it, it, it was the pace the game was played. And, <laughs> and, you know, we're we're in Jacksonville, Florida, and we, we saw consistent, really solid lacrosse out of the out of the programs that are here this weekend. Yeah, uh, good. Just, just a good game from on, on both ends of the field. Really nice goalie play on both ends. Uh, very impressed with Kenny O'Connor. Um, uh, and, and DeLuca, again, another solid game in, in, the, in the goal for, for Jacksonville. Um, uh, Got to be really impressed with uh, John Hannon. That's that's a <laughs> that's a great game from him with five goals and uh, a well deserved uh, well deserved uh, award of our, our Bam Shaft Player of the Game. Absolutely, and Salida Gorman's getting ready to speak with head coach Jim Morrissey. She'll also have our Bam Shaft Player of the Game, uh, John Hannon, right after that. 13 to 11, our final score. Let's go ahead and send it down to Salida. Salida, go ahead. You're respectful walking out the field. I'm here with Coach Morrissey. He just won the game. Coach, this was a very intense game. Obviously, you're coming up the win. You feel good about it. What does this mean for your team? Uh, it means a great deal. It gives us a lot of confidence to beat a quality opponent like Jacksonville on the road. You know, we came down here hoping to get two wins, and we have one so far. And, you know, it's just another day in Division I lacrosse where, you know, anybody can beat anybody, and the team that wants it the most usually comes out on top. Who would you say that you're really your key players were that you can really credit this game to? Our man down defense really stepped up today, did a great job. Coach Quads is doing a good job of those guys holding, holding it down, holding it pretty tight, and uh, I think that was the key. What would you say 
that you're going to take out of this game going into the game with you have with Mercer on Tuesday? Yeah, just confidence in the belief that if everyone's working together and we have, we have a common goal that you know we can come out victorious these kids haven't had a lot of success in the past and you know we're trying to instill that in these guys but it's it's respect for every opponent and it's respect for the game of lacrosse and have have respect for each other and hopefully you know we'll come on top each each and every game all right well congratulations on this win good luck for the rest of your season thank you we're going to bring it back up top thanks salita and, and congratulations to coach morrissey and the holy cross crusaders uh, we were able to flag down John Hannon. <laughs> He's going to make his way over to Salida. Let's take a 30-second break, and we'll be back with Salida and John Hannon, our BAM Shaft player of the game, right after this. Right there, Men's lacrosse coach at Florida State University, and you're watching this game on LAX TV. Perfect. I'm here with our BAM Chef player of the game. Tell me, what does this mean for you and your team? Um, obviously, it's a great team win. We, we came down here with the goal, and that was to go home with two wins. And we started out with one of our goals, which was score first and early. And we did that, and we kept it up the whole game. So it's a great feeling. All right, you had three goals in the fourth quarter, four total goals. How did you really just make that happen? How did your teammates help you to make that happen? Um, like I said before, it was a total team effort, and nothing could have been happening today without the team, but I think we all saw that we had a chance to win and go home with two wins this, this break, and, and we didn't want to go home with a loss. What are you going to take into the rest of your season from this game? Um, just just confidence, knowing that we can play with any team. You know, We watched them earlier this year beat Navy, and I think it gave us great confidence today. All right, well, congratulations. Good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you very much. Bring it up top. Thanks, Salida, and congratulations to John Hannon, our BAM Shaft player of the game. Four goals, including a three-goal run in, in the fourth frame that, that really helped put this, essentially put it away, but a, a mad fury uh, from, uh, from Jacksonville that got it close, and it just came up short at the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Coach Morrissey uh, made, made an excellent point that uh, uh, Holy Cross's uh, man down D uh, really, really stepped up and and, uh, and uh, frustrated uh, Jacksonville's attempts uh, uh, that they had uh, when they were extra man. And and that's always the coaches are looking for for good special teams play, and that includes your man down D. Uh, did a great job today, and and John Hannon uh, really, really impressive. Uh, uh, four goals and and uh, uh, nice job running the offense today. The Jacksonville team huddled at the far side of the field. We'd, we'd sure like to talk with uh, Coach Van Arsdale if we can before we leave Jacksonville. We'll check that out during this timeout break. Again, your final score from Jacksonville, Florida, Holy Cross 13, the Jacksonville Dolphins 11. Harris makes two, three moves, scores! Here come the Ducks. San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy. This is going to be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle to cross. Bounce, score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left-handed shot by Vasilovsky. This is Jim Morrissey, head men's lacrosse coach at Holy Cross, and you're watching LAX TV.
back at Jacksonville, Florida, where Holy Cross has defeated the hometown Jacksonville University Dolphins 13 to 11. I'm Dan Matthews with Todd Walker, a beautiful moonshot over the scoreboard here in Jacksonville. And uh, the next place they can hear us, Todd, <laughs> is going to be on Lacrosse Talk this evening. Our Salida Gorman trying to track down Guy Van Arsdale to see if he'll talk to us. And, We'll find out momentarily, but uh, Todd, really good games um, here this weekend. Uh, it, it, you, you can't ask for much more, Dan. Uh, we had we had a, a, a nice MCLA game uh, last night and a, and a good high school high school game uh, following a great uh, Jacksonville, Michigan game on Friday, and and uh, and and two more good ones here today. So uh, you can't you can't uh, you can't get much better than than a weekend like this at lacrosse. And, and I think the one thing that uh, that, that we want Salida to, to convey to Coach Van Arsdale would be our appreciation for, for hosting us this weekend and, and how much we really enjoyed covering the Dolphins and, and this uh, Florida lacrosse community. Yeah, and again, the, the, the obvious the, the amount of support that the university has for the, for the men's lacrosse team here at Jacksonville. And, and, and again, uh, this, this is a group that's, that's going get, to uh, get better and better, and not only as the season goes along, but, uh, but in the next couple of years when uh, Coach Van Arsdale gets his first couple of recruiting classes in, in here to, uh, uh, to uh, bolster, the, bolster the troops and uh, uh, see good things going for, the, for them going forward a couple of great games out of the Dolphins a, a one victory w one defeat let's go ahead and toss it down to Salida on the field with coach Guy Van Arsdale I'm here with coach Van Arsdale coach really hard fought game what are you going to take from this game into the rest of your season well I, th I think what we have to take from it is that we ne we need we need to, to prepare our players need to prepare differently during the week, that we have to prepare, we have to practice with more intensity, we have to be able to handle the kind of intensity that Holy Cross came at us today, and we're, we're just not doing that on a consistent, our guys are still learning how to do that on a consistent basis, and, and so that's disappointing that we haven't gotten that, and, that, and I think that's what cost, cost us the game today. I think, I think that we dug ourselves a hole because Holy Cross played hard, won ground ball battles, and, and you know buried some shots. We didn't shoot the ball as well as I would like to think we can shoot it. Um, but you know they just they just flat out beat us in a lot of the intangibles, and that's why that's why you lose a game like that. I know you didn't come out on top today, but who were the really key players that really fought hard for you today? Well, I thought I thought Pete DeLuca played well in the goal again, and he had some big saves that kind of kind of kept us you know at least in it in a place where we could come back. And Connor Igo had a great day, and so did Cam Mann. You know, and, and, but we expect it. I mean, that's that's the thing about Cam Mann. He's a warrior. He has games like that every game, and I, I guess we shouldn't we should make sure we don't take it for granted how good a player he is. All right, well, thank you, Coach, and good luck in your next game in the rest of your season. We're going to bring it back up top. Head Coach Guy Van Arsdale with Salida Gorman. And uh, again, we do appreciate uh, the, the hospitality of Jacksonville University this weekend. It was a great weekend of lacrosse. Wish we could stay for Tuesday's game <laughs> <laughs> between Holy Cross and Mercer, but uh, duty calls back home and uh, duty calls over at Chicago Pizza before too long. Uh, <laughs> folks, you can catch us on Lacrosse Talk tonight. Uh, Todd and I will be live at Chicago Pizza this evening, and uh, as will the rest of the LAX TV crew. Again, your final score here from Jacksonville, Holy Cross 13, Jacksonville 11. This has been the Head Wraps Wrap-Up Show. We'll see you in two weeks from St. Louis. Good night, everybody.